With the release of the Apple 35W charger, many of you guys may find more and more multi-port chargers in the market. So what kind of multi-port chargers is the best? Let's talk about it today. The common charger is equipped with a larger USB-A or smaller USB-C port. First, let's see the USB-A port. It's the most common port and can be seen in every corner of our daily life. Since there is a rectangular plastic block inside, we have to flip it over to find the correct direction in most cases. There are four different pins on the plastic block. The VBUS is used for power transmission. GND is used for grounding. D plus and D minus are used for data transmission. But many manufacturers will modify the internal pins. The left and right pins will be widened to support higher current. An additional pin will be added to support the proprietary and PD protocols. Several years ago, there was another USB interface for mobile phone charging, that is micro USB. It's pretty similar to the USB-A, but smaller and thinner. Usually, it integrates four pins inside. The VBUS is used for power transmission, GND is used for grounding, and D plus and D minus are used for data transmission. The maximum supported current of micro USB is around 2 amp, which is within the safe range. Like the USB-A board, some manufacturers will add extra pins to support higher current and ensure safety. But both boards above were gradually replaced by a more advanced USB-C board, and we strongly recommend you buying a charger with USB-C boards. Because you do not need to flip it over to find the correct direction. It has 24 pins in total, 6 times than USB-A and micro USB, so you can support up to 240 watts charging, 40 gigabits per second data transmission, and a variety of other functions. It integrates 4 pairs of TX RX pins, 2 pairs of USB D plus and D minus pins, a pair of SBU pins, 2 CC pins, 4 VBUS pins, and 4 ground pins. To save costs and make it more affordable, some USB C devices won't adopt a full pin design, which will limit their performance. After inserting the male connector in different directions into the female socket, a dedicated communication pin of USB-C port, the CC pin, will identify the direction. And then the host will use CC1 or CC2 to communicate with the device. The CC pin can also transmit the USB PD protocol and support the dual role port USB-C at the same time. So it can switch between the power supply and the load, and support a bidirectional power transmission. With so many advantages, more and more consumer devices such as Android mobile devices, laptops, desktops, and even game consoles have begun to adopt USB-C. Except for the USB-C charging port, there is another critical feature we need to know when buying a multi-port charger. You need to ensure that the upper performance of each port is the same. Take Apple 35 w dual USB-C charger as an example. The supported protocols and PDO info of those two upper ports are exactly the same. No matter how you use it, there is no difference in charging performance. For some high-power multi-port chargers, it has a complicated charging guide. Because the upper performance of every single port is different, you have to distinguish which port is suitable to charge your devices. We do not think it's a good user experience. So, if you're considering buying a new multi-port charger, First, get a USB-C charger instead of an old USB-A charger. Then look at the specs info and make sure all the ports are exactly the same in terms of output power and protocols. Okay, that's all for today's video. Please drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to us if this video helps you. See you in the next video. Bye!